So my Mac got chewed up by a Cuda, pretty beat up. So I think I'm gonna try a little new thing. New thing I'm gonna try is cut bait. Now there's only one thing keeping me from doing this and it's that I'm in the middle of the ocean and the last thing I really wanna do is give sharks a reason to come looking for me. However, times are a tough. And if I don't go home with a fishy soon, I'm gonna be a little bummed out. A little mac filet, a little more bite size than the whole mackerel. Now, the live mac is attractive to large fish, particularly because it's alive. It's got that movement. It's got a lot of uh, attracting power, if you ever heard that term, like uh, big swim bait fishing for largemouth. Now, there are instances where fish come up into a chum line and very readily take these chunk baits or these cut baits. So what we're gonna try to achieve here is maybe we'll have a smaller game fish, like a yellowtail or a bonita or a seagull, god dang, he's really eyeing it up. We're gonna drift the chunk bait. The most realistic thing that happens is if we stay this close to the kelp, a calico is gonna down that chunk in no time. Let's get ourselves further from this kelp. Keep the bail open to just to allow some slack, but only after I get us a decent bit away from this zone. The wind is not as bad as I thought it'd be. I think the wind and the current are kind of working against each other, which while it's not as good for the fishing, at least the direction of the current, it does make fishing possible. So I'd rather have that than the alternative take one with the chunk bait here we go what we got what we got on the chunk bait oh oh bonita awesome Cool, glad to see a change of pace. Oh, it just came off. That's sick and I keep my bait. That was a wild ride. <laughs> Bonita are awesome. Little mini tuna. All right, so that's the closest we've gotten to a yellowtail yet. Glad to see it. Always weird when you see those pelagic predatory species just grab what they can like a little piece of uh, meat over here. Not great eating, so I'm not upset about losing it, but we'll get a line back out there. See if some, uh, more pelagic species want to kind of pull through like that. That was awesome. Getting bit down there. Got him that time. Oh, action, action, action. Oh, it's head shaking. It's probably a whitefish. Whitefish are tough little cookies, man. They can really fight and they are good table fare. Um, my only complaint is that they are kind of bony. And also, I have food made for me here, so I, I'm not that desperate to kill something. Oh, hate that noise, hate that noise, hate that noise. Ugh, cringe. All right, so that time we really overdid it. So, ocean whitefish, great fighting. Smaller fish, so a little bit bony. I'm not the best with the laying though. So, you know, who knows, your experience could be different than mine. Yeah, but a sweet little bycatch. All right, off you go. Um, you can get them at pretty deep depths and fairly shallow depths. So sometimes they will come up with a little bit of barrow trauma, just a issue with uh, their swim bladder as they come up. So if you do catch one and it's got barrow trauma, you may as well keep it. Otherwise, if you have a rockfish descending device, that could help. But yeah, just keep that in mind. Let them take to it for a sec. All right. Yeah, he's there. Let me get him. Gotcha. It's just a bass, but let's see. Definitely on there, whatever he is. Where is it another? Where? It's gotta be a bass eating smelt like that. There he comes. Oh, big kudo! Oh. He chewed that one for a minute. That was on the whole smelt. That's a big kudo. Alright, so we got this making a bait. Cool. That's neat. How deep hooked is he? Can't be that deep, is it? If it was, I assume he would have cut himself off by now, but wow, swinging those teeth around. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so I got him on the single hook right in the corner of the mouth. Nicely done. That was fun. That was fun, fun. The smelt gets bit. Okay. Oh, he's bleeding though. Oh, which, why are you bleeding? Is it just mouth? What's going on here? Yeah, I think you're all right. I don't see why your gills would have any trauma to them. Oh no, there he goes, yeah. 
Okay, I think he's bleeding from the mouth, but there he goes. If he doesn't make it, a sea lion's gonna get him pretty quick. I think he's all right though, there he goes. Still so, seems upright, so I think it's just gonna close up. I hope it didn't damage him too bad. It was right in the corner, so I don't know if there's much else it could have done there. But let's go ahead and clip this, because I know it was playing around in his teeth a bit. Um, definitely need to trim at least a few inches off there. That feels pretty good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I think that's the... Oh, oh, oh. All right. I got us a bait just in time. Feeling like a smelt, pretty lax little fighter. Nothing too intense. Um, but as we see, the smelt does catch... Oh, it's a whitefish. Okay. Well, I'm not going to fly a line of whitefish. I just think that's weird. All right, there he goes. Oh, are you barrowed? Oh. Oh, no. I'm a fish killer. And I don't mean that in a good way. Hold on. I'm a coming. So usually you don't want to let your fish float. That's just not a great way to go. Let's push them down a little bit. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting them started. Really? I don't see the obvious issue here, but so yeah, the issue with them isn't that they're dead. It's just that they're in a lot of discomfort and they can't swim down because that's that swim bladder issue. And their swim bladder is their buoyancy control. So if they don't have that, they're, shh, they're effed. I can't believe you have Barotron right now. They'd be kicking like a motherfucker. I don't see him coming up. I think he was just, I think he was just fucking with us. I see no whitefish. 